the year 2021, the year after 2020, when we all realized the dystopian nightmare that awaited us, an Orwellian hellscape that was also covered with the next bubonic plague known as, I don't even, you can't even say it. That's how dystopian it is. You literally can't say the name unless your channel's whitelisted. God help us all. In this nightmare of which there is no waking, there are still people who have to get off their sexual kinks in the oddest way. I guess jerking off just isn't good enough anymore. Some people can't come unless you choke them out and then elbow drop them in the throat. These people like to use phone apps that require chastity. I'm going to be demonetized for it. There's no way around this. Fuck it. Your cock is mine. Hackers lock internet connected chastity cage and demand ransom. That's right. In the year 2021, after the age of Corona, we now have the age of cock kidnapping. I don't know. Dick ransom. Talk about something. When I was a kid, they used to have us sitting there thinking, in 2020, we would have flying cars by now, right? It would be like the Jetsons. Now, someone should have came in the classroom, slapped my teacher in the face, and told her she was a moron, and said to the kids, guess what? One day, someone's going to kidnap your cock on a phone app. And then he jumps out the window, because that was what's going on. Wow. What a major come down from what I was actually expecting. 2020, well, the cure for cancer. No. You have coronavirus. 2021 flying cars. No, we kidnapped dicks. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. Giving an internet connected device control over your penis may not be the best idea ever. No shit. <coughs> <coughs> I can't take it no more, Stu. I gotta just stand if I was getting a million views of video reading this sort of shit, or even 300,000. But, like, what YouTube is... Forget it. Nobody cares about my problems. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? A hacker took control of people's internet-connected internet -connected chastity cages and demanded ransom to be paid in Bitcoin to unlock it. That sucks dick. You know why? Because Bitcoin is like 40 G's right now. Where are you going to get 40 G's to unlock your penis? Is there any way around this? Why would you buy one of these things that was like key locked, you know? You know it's dudes doing this. Probably like simps who give, give the code to like some e-girl on OnlyFans. And then when she receives her $300 ransom, can you take your penis out of this fucking thing to jerk off to her fucking photo? Crap, I curse too much. Your cock is mine now, and I quote, the hacker told the victim, according to a screenshot of the conversation obtained by security researchers that goes by the name Smelly, and is the founder of VX Underground, a website that collects malware samplers. In October last year, security researchers found that the manufacturer of an Internet of Things chastity cage, a sex toy that users put around their penis to prevent erections. Wow, okay, so it's only idiotic men that is used in BDSM communities can be unlocked remotely and left an API exposed, giving malicious hackers a chance to take control of the device. That's exactly what happened. According to security researchers who obtained screenshots of the conversations between the hacker and several victims, and according to the victims interviewed by Motherboard. Okay, I need to, can I see this thing? It's got horrible reviews on Amazon. Three out of five stars, only 37 ratings. Oh my God, look at all of this. I can't even show it. There's this much dick stuff going on on Amazon. Wow. You know my YouTube search history is going to be fucked now. I'm going to go on YouTube and they're going to be like, ah, oh, we see you like to wrap your penis up. Well, at least you could take a piss out of it, I think. When is enough enough? You know, when... When was getting laid not enough? Now it's like, I need a woman to fully control my penis. In this horrible dick lock. How does it hold your cock in it? I'm going to try and figure this out. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I see. I think your balls go between those metal bars. Yeah, you'd have a tough time getting this off. Wow. Who is stupid enough to put this on and not have a fail safe? Like, you have to be dumb. 
At no point do you sit there and go, there's a possibility something could go wrong. I need a way around it just in case my cock gets stuck. No, you don't even think of that. You deserve to have your dick kidnapped. <laughs> you deserve it. It's like I always say, gamble with your life. Gamble with drugs. Gamble with money. Never gamble with your dick. A victim who asked to be identified only as Robert said he received a message from the hacker demanding a payment of 0.2 bitcoins. That's actually very reasonable considering how much Bitcoin costs. Around $750 today to unlock the device. He realized his cage was definitely locked and he could not gain access to it. Fortunately, I didn't have this locked on myself. While this was happening, Robert said in the online chat, you got lucky, Rob. Bobby, you got lucky. I wasn't the owner of the cage anymore, so I didn't have full control over the cage at any given moment. Another victim who goes by the name RJ told Motherboard in an online chat, RJ said he got a message from the hacker who said they had control of the cage and wanted payment to unlock it. You know what's weird is the fact that like the, the hacker contacts the dudes and they're like, your cock is mine. That sounds slightly sexual. I don't know. I don't know, man. She's kind of gay to me. I don't know if the hackers are men or women, but I'm going to assume they're dudes. Personally, I would probably say something like, your dick has been taken hostage. You will pay money to this spot around this time or else something dick related will happen. Don't get funny, fruit nuts. This isn't a game. Your dick's life is on the line. <laughs> Maybe you'll think of twice about putting your dick inside a Chinese made stuff. Next time you'll support an American made cock ring manufacturer. I don't know. Jesus Christ. I don't wonder, uh, like this interviewer didn't do a good enough job. I would have asked so many questions. Like, why are you putting your dick in cellmate? When you saw the name cellmate, why did you think this is a good idea to use in your penis? When the hacker said that they took your dick as a hostage, how much dread and anxiety did you feel? Was it in the pit of your stomach? Did you feel like you're having a heart attack? Were you close to shit yourself? Did you think about taking a Dremel to it and trying to cut your cock out? What ideas did you have? Did you ever think of getting a tool that could cut through metal bars? Wait, that'd still probably cut your dick, right? Because if you cut the bars, even if it's a clean cut, it would still be so hard, unless you cut the other side, that you could pull your dick right out. So many questions. So many. Does your wife know you're doing this? Are you married, sir? Are you single? Or are you in a relationship? If you're not in a relationship, who the hell are you giving, like, power over your penis to? Are you a simp? Do you buy feet pics, sir? Do you look like Jason Schwire? Answer the questions. <laughs> Q... Uh, Chio Chao, oh, I can't even say this is Chinese. The Chinese based manufactured device, which is adaptively called Cellmate. I know that's not something I want to put my dick in. Right there, the name already, the name is already bad for me. It's like Flash is a booty warrior. I like you and I want you. We can do this the easy way, the hard way. The choice is yours. Give me some Bitcoin. In his prison, Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. It was uh, more important than food. Bitcoin. A man's Bitcoin. It was more important. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more Bitcoin. Having some Bitcoin was more important than drinking water. Man. The Chinese manufacturer did not respond to the request for comments. A U.S. distributor said. In an email that the flaw that allowed the hacker to lock the victim's cage was fixed in the latest version of the app. Why on God's green earth would you use a Chinese based dick lock? Now the Chinese own parts of America. America owes the Chinese billions. And now American men are willingly giving the Chinese control of their penis. God damn it, we're heading towards the communist utopia and there's not a thing I could do about it. Almost every company and product is going to have some kind of vulnerability in its lifetime. Maybe not as bad as this one, but something. I can't think of anything worse than... Oh my god. 
it's important that the companies have a way to researchers to I'm done. Just so much stupidity in the world. So much stupidity. <laughs>